In today's video, I will teach you how to make an SVG file in GIMP. Let's get started. GIMP, a powerful raster graphics editor, primarily focuses on pixel-based images but offers limited support for vector graphics, particularly SVG or scalable vector graphics. While SVG is a widely supported vector format used in web, GIMP's vector capabilities are basic compared to dedicated vector graphics editors. Here are three important things that you need to know. SVG format. It stands for Scalable Vector Graphics, which is widely supported on web. Vector versus Raster Graphics. Vector graphics use mathematical expressions for scalable images, while raster graphics are pixel-based. And GIMP's primary focus primarily a raster graphics editor with limited support for vector capabilities. So, can GIMP export SVG files? The simple answer is yes. GIMP can export SVG files, but it involves creating vector paths using the paths tool or path from selection command. However, GIMP's support for vector paths is basic, and exported SVGs only contain vector path data. Complex images with pixel data, color information, or text layers cannot be included, making GIMP less suitable for intricate SVG creations. Now, to create an SVG file in GIMP, the first step is to create your paths. Use the Paths tool or create a selection and apply path from selection. Paths tool involves placing anchor points and creating vector paths. Path from selection converts a selection into a vector path. The second step is exporting your paths. Right-click on the path in the Paths panel and choose Export Path. GIMP opens the Export Path to SVG dialog with options to export selected or all paths. Provide a name for the SVG file and click Save. Another frequently asked question is whether GIMP can convert JPG to SVG. And the answer is that GIMP lacks an automated tool to convert JPG, which is a raster format, to SVG, a vector format. While it's possible to manually draw paths over a simple JPEG using the Paths tool and export them as SVG, this process is complex and not efficient. An alternative option is using a vector graphics app. For more robust vector graphics capability, dedicated vector apps are recommended. The first one is Adobe Illustrator, which is a widely used vector graphics app. The second alternative option is Affinity Designer, a competitor to Adobe Illustrator and is also gaining popularity. And the last alternative option is Inkscape. It is a free and an open source vector graphics program available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. GIMP's SVG support is basic, and for more advanced vector graphic tasks, Using dedicated vector graphics apps like Inkscape or Adobe Illustrator is recommended. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.